Today we're going to take a look at the Dexter 10-inch Never Adjust Electric Trailer Brake Assembly Kit with the left hand and right hand assemblies for 3,500 pound axles. Now electric brakes are easier to install. They offer more user control than hydraulic brakes. Basically they require only an electric brake controller which we do sell separately on our website. There's no actuator hydraulic lines necessary. Now this kit will include a 10 inch by 2 and a quarter inch driver side and passenger side electric trailer brake assemblies and the mounting hardware. Now the brake shoes on these brakes are lined with automotive grade friction material and that friction material is fully bonded. It's not riveted to the shoes. Gives you a lot longer life, more braking torque. And these brakes are never adjust brakes and basically what that means is they do self adjust as you uh, apply them. And you can always tell the self adjusting or never adjust brakes. You'll see a cable here that runs around a pulley, attaches to a lever that, it, that will connect to your adjustment wheel right down here. So once you make your initial adjustment and you install them, from then on as you use your brakes they will self adjust. There's no need for any manual brake adjustments. And of course what's nice is proper adjustment of your brakes will lead to better brake efficiency and less wear on your tow vehicle's brakes. On the backing plate right at the bottom here, I just wanted to show you on these, there's two holes and normally those holes are used to put your adjustment tool through to adjust your brakes. On this one they usually leave those holes open but what's nice here is you notice they put these rubber adjuster plugs in it to cover those access holes. Helps keep dirt and grime out of your assemblies and off your brake shoes. It is a four bolt brake mounting flange bolt pattern. Comes with the mounting nuts. These parts are made in the USA. Now the dimension on this, we said this is a size 10 inch by 2 and a quarter inch and what that measurement means, let me get a ruler here, and we're going to measure the 10 inch is going to be the diameter which is measured from this shoe all the way over to this shoe. So there's your 10 inch measurement and then the two and a quarter is the measurement of the width of the pad on the brake shoes. So if we put a ruler on the pad you can see two and a quarter inches. Weight capacity on one assembly is 1,750 pounds. So when both of these are used on the axle it will meet your 3,500 pound axle rating. This is designed to be used with 10 inch drums. The wheel size that will work on this diameter is 13 inch diameter, 14 inch and 15 inch. These are electric brakes. If you notice on the back they have two green wires coming out. They do need to be connected. One goes to a brake feed, one goes to the ground. And they're both green wires so either wire can be used for either function. And then the last thing I wanted to show you, we get a lot of questions on people asking what, how do you tell the difference between a left side and a right side assembly. Well on a brand new brake assembly there will be a sticker so that will signify that. But if you sticker isn't there the easiest way is just look at the length of the pad on the brake shoe. This pad is from here to here. This one's all the way from here all the way to here. This is a longer pad. This is the shorter pad. Shorter pad is your primary shoe. That will always face the front of the trailer. So that's going to tell you this is the right hand passenger side assembly. And on the other one, same way, your pad is here to here. On this shoe it's all the way from here to here. Longer pad, shorter pad. Shorter pad is the primary. So that's your left hand passenger or left hand driver side assembly. But that should do it for the review on the Dexter 10 inch Never Adjust Electric Trailer Brake Assembly Kit with the left hand and right hand assemblies for 3,500 pound axles.